February 11, Paying Our Debts It is better not to make a vow than to make one and not fulfill it. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 5, New International Version We live in a world where some people's word has been losing its value. Think about your life. How many times have you promised to do something for people? Then try to recall how many of these promises you have actually fulfilled. And how many times have people who made promises to you actually kept their word? Toward the end of his life, during a time of contemplation and reflection, King Solomon wrote, It is better not to make a vow than to make one and will not fulfill it. His father David had written earlier that among those who will stand firm forever are people who have kept their promises. Psalms chapter 5 verse 4. In other words, they made good on their word. As human beings, we can control whether or not we stand behind our word. If we don't, though, we lose credibility and the respect of others. People view us as being untrustworthy. And here's a further thought. If keeping our promises to others is important, how much more careful should we be when making promises to God? When we are requesting God's help during times of anxiety or fear, we sometimes promise to do something in return. Yet, how often have we forgotten to follow through on those promises to the Savior? But God does not forget. He wants us to fulfill what we have promised. As Solomon wrote, When you make a vow to God, do not delay to fulfill it. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 4 In this verse, the admonition to fulfill a promise takes on the meaning of paying a debt that we owe. So when we promise something either to God or another person, we assume a debt in a sense. And as such, since we have committed to assume this debt, we need to pay it. Jesus once told a parable of two sons that a householder asked to work in his vineyard. The first son said he wouldn't but changed his mind and went to work. The second son promised to work but did not make good on his word. Jesus implied that the son who did not fulfill his promise did not pay his debt, did not do the will of his father. As we promise and are careful to pay our temporal debts, should we not take our promise to God and others with the same seriousness? In God's strength, we can make good on our word. Cecilia Nanny